Hello everyone, this is the Mix Out Cowboy. Greetings and salutations. I have prepared a video for you, and this video is going to be a shout out video to uh, a gentleman that I esteem very highly. I consider him uh, an intellectual and a gentleman. I have been subscribed to him for many years now. And the only word that I can use to describe his work is prolific. If I had to sum it up in one word, I would call it prolific. Of course, I'm talking about a gentleman by the name of Donovan Warlin. You can find him uh, under his name. Just punch in, uh, do, uh, just type in Donovan Warland. Now, Don, Donovan Warlin is... Uh, I don't know exactly how to describe him. Um, I, I am speaking um, extemporaneously right now. Uh, I haven't prepared any text or I don't have any uh, note. Uh, I don't have any um, flashcards or any notes. But speaking just, uh, you know, uh, again, uh, extemporaneously. Um, I would describe him as like a, a mixture of um, social commentator, um, geopolitical analyst, uh, you know, prognosticator. I I don't know what to call him, but he's uh, he's he reads a lot, and uh, and you can tell. So, uh, uh, without further ado, uh, I'm going to play a video by him. Uh, I definitely recommend every single person that is subscribed to my channel to subscribe to his channel. Go over to his channel, Donovan, Donovan Warland. Donovan Warland. Um, it took me like, it took me almost five minutes to find the video that I wanted to share with you guys. Uh, because he, uh, again, he... He his is a content creator and his content is so prolific. Uh, he basically creates like a video every day, it, it, you know, if not every day, maybe uh, twenty two or twenty four times a month. So it's almost every day, if not every day, every other day. And um, they're not you know real short, low quality you know pieces of work. They're they're extensive. They're you know twelve, twenty. 25 minute videos and they're all very well thought out um yeah so i'll 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 leave it at that let's start the video uh okay so this is a video by him uh this was about six months ago it took me a little while to find this video this video is called <clears throat> this video is called mansplaining is love respect poor decent american men here we go. So, denial, deceit, delusion. We now have this, uh, th this fascinating paradigm that we've come upon with mansplaining being the only way that really men communicate in any way, shape, or form kind of a civic love for their country women because their country women act in such a way that you would rather just not warn them and let them starve. And that's what's happening. I like mansplaining the women because I, I love women. I really like them. <laughs> I wish uh, they, they knew exactly how, uh, how kind of amazing they could be. Um, because I've, I've met so many. I've uh, encountered so many women, especially ones from a generation before. Oh, and of course, hello you. Is this lady in the neighborhood I have a total crush on, but that's the rule, the McCready rule. You can smile, you can charm, but no fucky fucky, because that's uh, until you until uh, until you got sort of a contract or some some assurance. That's that's a no go. It's a no go zone. The danger zone. Hey hey. And so the something that actually I I have to bring up about kind of the heart, the re part of the right that's becoming harder hearted is that uh, they, there's, there's a lot of these gentlemen that they're, they're done. 
they'll they'll let the old starve. They'll let the young starve. They don't care. They they've their experience and and a lot of these guys. It won't matter if you want to think they're bad people. Oh. All right. <clears throat> All right. I'll stop it there. Um. Or I'll pause it right there. Who do you think he's talking about? You don't. You don't think he's talking about us MGTOW boys, do you? <clears throat> you better bet he is. He uh, he specifically mentions uh, MGTOW. Uh, you know, not in every video, but he has mentioned the Red Pill and he has mentioned the Manosphere and he has mentioned MGTOW multiple times. I uh, I actually uh, on occasion suspect that he may be a a closeted MGTOW. Uh, he just not has maybe maybe just maybe he has not come out publicly saying so, but he's definitely a red pill. He's definitely based. Let's leave it at that. Continuing on. Yeah, well, they're dumb bad, and I'm smart, good vagina power. It's like no, no, it won't matter. These are guys who can calculate area in their head. They can they can you could give them a percentage of an amount with a decimal point at five point two one percent you could give them a number and they could do it in their head those are those people they will let you start you have proven to them they should so a, a lot of a lot of women out there i don't want you left on the shelf i don't want you going crazy because that's what loneliness really does and this is again Denial, deceit, delusion. Why deny that you go bananas when you're left alone? A room where you're just having to sit in silence makes you uncomfortable. You should stop denying this because then you have to go into this deceitful realm of, well, the men do this to us and the men do that to us. When really, then you're hanging out around criminal males, low functioning, like low intelligence criminal men. That's what you're hanging out with if you're having that experience. No, you the, you just don't want to deal with there is a tier and you don't want to live up to the standards of that tier because you feel you get mansplained to. And really, that's a guy trying to tell you what the truth is. No, that he's trying to explain to you, no, no, the truth of the matter is this. Um, and it's it just that that's just too infuriating because... He can't, he has to be doing it out of spite. He has to be doing it to be cruel, to dominate you. This is a part of the deceit into the delusion part of it. And that's the whole thing. Just like Colin Flaherty nailed it with this, that, that he has nailed it. Denial, deceit, and delusion of the left, the libtards, the shit libs, the, 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 Pussy grifters and the and the and the and the shit grifters and stuff like that, the race grifters and the race baiters. That it's always denial, deceit, and delusion over and over and over again. That's odd. I wonder if that's the person I think it is. Um, and yeah, and and just and that's why I had to sit back and had to think. No, mansplaining is love because this is the way that you talk to a sister. This is the way you would talk to your own mother because you'd be afraid something bad would happen to her if you didn't insist on her trusting you. And that's why mansplaining is love. Because it's really somebody insisting on why would you think I would waste my time deceiving you? Because that's what it is. It's a waste of time to deceive women. Unless you're trying to get something from them like money. Such as, uh, telling fat women they're pretty and uh, making them buy things that they, they don't look good in. That's, I mean, that, that, that's what, like, remember, that's the whole thing with marketing. That's the whole thing with Aaron Clary and Project Evil. Just lie to them. If you lie to women, you can make lots of money on them. Fuck them. <laughs> now, I'm taking the different approach as, no, you're being mansplained to because somebody is actually willing to tell you shit. And that's it. Oh, and there goes Pete. Pete, Pete. What's going on, Pete? Everybody want to see Pete. Let's see if we could get 
No, that's just a cup of coffee, Pete. Oh, Pete. Come on, Pete. Or, then looks, and just walks away. <laughs> like he heals like a dog. He says, I know, you know, I'm into freckled girls. Uh, I'm into women who are, you know, redheads. I'm into the, you know, the, the thinner end of pale women. It's really just one of these things. I know, you know, I'm into freckled girls. Uh, I'm into women who are, you know, redheads. I'm into the, you know, the, the thinner end of pale women. Um, <laughs> the, the lighter shade of pale. Um, so, and it's just really one of these things of that. I just wanted to just bring this up because, like, I'm not getting married, probably. You know, it's, that's very unlikely. Um, very, very, very unlikely. And the thing is, I just see too many women who I'm like, you were a contender. Like, you actually had it, you, you kind of had it going on. What, like, what happened to you? Why did you become a whack MC and fall off so hard? And a lot of people know that one. A lot of fellas can say that. They could say, no, I remember my homie had this girlfriend, and we all thought she was the shit. She was cool as hell. And then at some point, she fell off like a whack MC. And just started being whack and being whack and being whack. Then she would bring in other whack MCs on a track. Some R&B bitch. And you're like, oh no, this is becoming so whack. Why? And that's the thing now. You don't expect women to be able to dance. You you absolutely don't expect a woman to be able to, to cook. Most of these young men, like the stuff that they're reporting back to us who are older, is is absolutely like I mean really I want you to, I'm not kidding all right let me pause it right there uh, just quick just quickly uh, let me mention I just made a video not even a week ago uh, two days ago three days ago talking about how I have observed the same thing uh, there's just this diminishing quality of the feminine that I see throughout society um, and I see it everywhere. You know, I was talking about, um, uh, you know, a quick story about, you know, women I saw at a restaurant, but I see it everywhere. You know, I, I see women on the street. Um, I go to the gym, I go to the gas station, I go to restaurants and, and yeah, it's, it's just this, uh, this lower caliber of, uh, of women everywhere. And yeah, so I, I agree with that observation. These are guys who can they can they can survive. They are surviving. They're they're doing decently and they're telling us they're like, "No. If they if they'll starve. They will starve. They will starve to death. They will like if times get bad, you know, we will have to the whole world will have to bail them out." And, and none of you are really getting this. Like how bad things really kind of are getting. And, and really a big part of this is the insistence on voting for that which is democratic. The, the way the feminists have been behaving. The, this denial, deceit, and delusion about the way that life really works in the Western world. So just wanted to put that out there because it's just, I'm gonna keep having to do this 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 denial deceit delusion series because it's just it's just too good of a phrase it's too good of a phrase oh i highly recommend um adv china put out another china's super rich or super poor this is actually a really good thing to see that i think also applies a lot to democratic enclaves in a way uh in a way not not quite, but but it's also it's important to understand the way that um, the Western world deals with wealth. Generations of people who've had wealth compared to people who literally had one of the wealthiest nations in the world. Then it fell into civil war, the communists take over, and now these people are almost, I mean, they're, they're eating each other. They're eating each other alive. It, and uh, and and really, it's unreal how fucking just it, it, Hunger Games. 
Hunger Games, it, the, the People's Republic is like Hunger Games. And that's, a, for some reason, the Democrats are fascinated, and especially women are fascinated with the idea of becoming evil queens of the land of Hunger Games here in the States. And that's why men aren't going to fucking touch you and they'll let you starve. They think you're a witch. They think you're bad. They, if they think you suck, they'll do it. And it really, especially women who you're, you, you think, oh, well, yeah, some of my girlfriends. Yeah, understand, you will choose your man over your girlfriends because he, you won't be able to keep them. He, that's, that's, what, that's the word now. No, no, your girlfriends are bad people. What? Blah, blah, blah. You're a good person. Why do you hang out with these bad people? Blah, 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 blah. Should we date? Oh, ah, ah. do you want to be alone? I mean, you have girlfriends. Whatever. Whatever. Call me when you get, call me when you get your shit together and stop hanging out with these trashy bitches who want to shrink the balls of little boys, inject them with experimental drugs. And, and then and then decide they hate men because men don't want to be injected with experimental drugs and have their balls shrunk by henpecking losers who cannot keep the uh, first world they can't keep the lights on in the first world it was left up to them you've been mansplained to get in where you fit in and figure it out it, because the, the, I'm telling you the ones who are in their in their late 30s mid to late 30s and older, Mm -mm. they're going to starve they're going to starve unless they're getting prepared they're going to fucking suffer I, and I, I'm also saying this because I'm hearing people who I know are skilled people talking about how they can't find work they are skilled people who speak multiple languages and they cannot find work so it just yeah just putting it out there because I really do love you. I really do. Especially you hot little redheads. Anyway. Especially those, uh, those, those hot little redheads with freckles. Uh, I think this guy might have something in common with, uh, with uh, Hamster. Or uh, what's his name? Uh, Von Maxwell. Be good. Do good to others. Sin is sin because it can be recognized by the sinner. God will judge. God will make his judgments. 